What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and to start off today's video I got something epic that I want to get done really quickly. The Opti Gaming, like The Opti Gaming, is doing a base set unlimited Pokemon TCG booster break. I bought a pack. I'm in this. I don't know when we are but I'm going to be sitting here chilling waiting to pull it. Shout out to the Optic Boys man. This is a lot of hype. There's thousands and thousands of people in here. Let's see how this goes man. Shout out to Optic. Come on. Here we go oh, ladies and gentlemen. Farfetched. Farfetch to start this thing off. Seal, that's a good pull. That's a good pull. I'm with that. I'm with that. Come on, guys. We need a dub here. Porygon. I'll take a Porygon. I'll take a Porygon. This happened all so fast. I was literally setting up the camera. And I got called up Squirtle. Squirtle's a great pull. Potion. Potion right there. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Come on, baby. Come on. We got that Squirtle. I'm happy about that. Yeah. Ghastly. Yeah. Nidoran. I love me some Nidoran. That's my guy. That's my guy. Love me some Nidoran. Centering looks okay on that guy. Vulpix. Who doesn't love that Vulpix card? Uh, Sidekick Energy. Ah, Grass Energy. Come on. Don't suck. Don't All suck. Right. Hook Gilly. it up. Big trainer energy. You've been Please. Out into the world. Come on. Come on. Next card is... Holo Blastoise! Hollow Blastoise! Yo! Yo! Yo that is one of the best pulls we could have got. Yes, sir. I will trade that to be an Optic, I swear. Optic Gillies trending in the chat. <laughs> yes, sir. Literally, if there was no Optic, there'd be no JT Gilly. I'm not even lying. There, no Optic, no JT Gilly. No shot. This is incredible. That's an amazing start. That's an amazing start to today's video. Oh my gosh. And to start off today's video, I wanna talk about something that's truly exciting. There's something going on right now in Pokemon Go. Has anybody else seen an incredible amount of rare spawns going around in Pokemon Go? If you guys watched my last video, you guys saw we found a wild Sceptile and a wild Blaziken within hours of each other. And when I saw that happen, I was like, this is incredible. I haven't seen rare spawns like this in years. Let me tweet it out and see if anyone feels the same. I was like, yo, have you guys been seeing a crazy amount of rare spawns lately? And the responses were incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go through them right now. So I said, everyone tweet me a screenshot of any rare Pokemon you've seen in the last few days. And we got so many responses. As you can see right here, we got a wild Feraligator right there. We got a wild Meganium right there. We got a wild Needle King right here. And again, this is all in the last few days. Some more Feraligator, some Dawn fans, a Meganium off an Incense, an Exploud in the wild, a uh, wild Typhlosion right there. What else? What else? What else? Wild Charizard, wild Gabite. I've seen a lot of Gabite sightings. A wild Agron. Agron I'm seeing a lot of on people's uh, nearbys, as you can see right there. A couple Agrons. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's, there's probably another one in here. I've seen some Dragonites for sure. Um, but as you can see, see this is real man there are rare spawns all over the place a dino who lo doesn't love a dino you guys get the point there's so many dope pokemon spawning third stage pokemon really really rare spawns going on right now in pokemon go and i love it and you might be wondering why honestly i don't really have a real answer for you i don't know why this is happening all of a sudden but i'm so happy because it makes me feel like this game is back in 2016 again i get that rush of seeing an incredibly rare pokemon when you're by flying to it catching it let me know in the comments down below what rare spawns you guys have seen in the last couple of days oh and speaking of which check this out look what i got yesterday man septile in the wild another one i know we saw the one that we missed that one day and then we got another one in the wild just a few days later it wasn't even on the nearby it was just in a cluster man i don't get it I, there's just rare pokemon all over the place and i'm so happy about it i love rare spawns i will always love rare spawns i don't care if they're shiny or not or if they're good or not it's such a fun feeling but we go ahead and grab this septile right here man and there's some like common rare spawns too like i've seen electrode and raichu and haunter and stuff like that but septile in the wild not a good iv one still a wild septile bro are you kidding me but i wanted to make that a point in today's video and i did want to discuss that because it's going on right now and everyone's going wild and everyone's enjoying it so hopefully you guys have seen some dope stuff but we got a fun fun adventure packed in front of us Let's get to it. We're at the park today, hunting for some fire. We got a new legendary Pokemon in the game, new raid bosses. 
new stuff to talk about. Also, stick around. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about something you guys definitely wanna hear. Uh, it's important. Yo, how could I forget? I totally forgot to mention this. I'm glad I just remembered. There's a new shiny Pokemon in the wild, a surprise shiny, and it is insane. Confirmed. Shiny Arcanine in the wild, 1337, 209 TP, 1194. These are not photoshopped. There's many, many reports all around the world. Shiny Arcanine has made its Pokemon Go debut in the wild. Are you serious, bro? What? What is this? What a pleasant surprise. A new evolution shiny in the wild that we can look forward to. So if you guys ever see an Arcanine, go check it. It can be shiny, boy. Let's go. That is incredible. Oh my god, I would love to get that. Now, why? I don't know. I'm sure you guys are wondering, why the heck is Arcanine shiny in the wild? That's kind of random. Listen, first of all, I'm down. Second of all, I think there's a good reason why. Check out a couple of gaming's tweet right here. I actually really like this reasoning, too. The only logical reasoning as to why we are seeing Arcanine in the wild with its shiny is because Arcanine was originally planned to be a legendary Pokemon. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know that. And it is also called the legendary Pokemon in the Pokedex. As you can see, if you you go to your Pokédex right now, it says Legendary Pokémon in, in on Arcanine. This current season right now is called the Season of Legends, the Season of Legendary Pokémon. So it really only makes sense that they release Shiny Arcanine in the wild. I love that. I don't think Pokémon Go has really done many Easter eggs like that, but that's a beautiful Easter egg that I really appreciate. Shout out to Arcanine for surprising us. That is awesome. I love that Easter egg right there. All right, hopefully you guys have heard the news by now. There is a brand new legendary in Pokemon Go. Let's go over a raid guide for Mr. Landorus right here. This guy's shiny is now available for the first time. His hundo CP is 2050 and his hundo boost CP is 2563. It is a, what is he, a ground and flying type. Pretty interesting typing right there. You can duo him if you do have the right counters and the right conditions. Uh, and it takes about two to five people to take him down. I have done about 13 of these guys and I have not got the shiny yet. I also don't have this guy guy in the pokedex at all so i would like for my first one to be a shiny dex entry i haven't been able to make that happen i'm gonna try but honestly at this point i feel like i'm gonna start catching him because he's only around until march 6th he's only here for five days so i gotta make sure i'm doing some raids and not missing out completely i'll probably catch the next raid i do to be honest but it would have been nice to get a shiny dex entry his shiny is available best counters on the bottom right there you're gonna want some ice types ice types are gonna be solid for you Oh wait, oh wait, speaking of which, hold on, hold on, hold on, we got a Landorus raid. We got a Landorus raid. No, I gotta buy passes. Hurry, get in there. Get in there. Please let me in. Please let me in. This is perfect timing. This is perfect timing. Let me do it. Yes, sir. Okay. Landorus raid gonna go down right now, too. Let me find somewhere to post up because I wanna make sure I catch this Landorus right now. Oh boy. We're gonna go ahead and trio this. Now granted, we got two level 46s and a 47. We're gonna be okay, but we're gonna trio a Landorus. All right, I'm about that. Is that a car behind me? Okay, there's just cars going through this park for sure. <laughs> I heard that noise, I was like, is that a car right behind me at a park? Yeah, okay, so there's just a car going through the park right now. That's okay, that's okay. Hey, things happen, things happen. Let's go ahead and trio this Landorus right here. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have a Landorus yourselves. And just like that, we're tapping away on the Landorus. Articuno gonna come in and bada bing, bada boom. A few icy winds right there should do it. Again, ice types are two times effective. Uh, so <laughs> definitely going to be your best bet. Landorus goes down right there. I don't know if it's going to be boosted or not. 2488. Yikes. The hundo is 2563, I believe. And that is not 2563. Ladies and gentlemen, this one sucks. But with our luck, honestly, with our luck, it's probably a shiny. I haven't done this in a while, and I'd like to do it. Let me go step out into the grass really quick. This is going to be a one-handed. Oh, my gosh. One-handed? Can I do this? Do I have the power to do this? I think I can. I think I can. I trust myself. We're going to go ahead and throw my phone up in the air on this one. All right. One handed though. Oh my God. I'm going to look right into the sun. I can't mess up here. I can't mess up. Oh my gosh. Oh, still caught. It's and one and one. Not a shiny. Are you serious, man? I just caught, I just one hand caught my phone that weighs 50 pounds and I looked directly into the sun one handed and it didn't count. It didn't count. The play guy called back. Got an excellent right there. Now I will say Landorus is super far back. Not a guy, not a raid Pokemon that is easy to throw excellence on as we just one ball it right there. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. One balled the horrible, horrible Landorus right there. But let's throw it in the Pokedex, of course. I wish it was shiny. I wish it was a shiny Dex entry, but it is what it is. 
Landorus in the decks, 2488. It is not good, not even a little bit. We got him in the decks. I'm glad we did that. Okay, 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 Gilly, enough talking. Let's get to some action. All right, all right. Listen, I'm waiting for some Landorus raids, but you're right. We need some action. Let's go ahead and evolve a shiny Pokemon, a shiny shadow Pokemon. This is one of the coolest shiny shadows. I think that's even out right now. Shiny Shadow Carvana, as you guys may have seen in the last video, we highlighted it, but we got this a couple, or last month, we got this last month, incredible clip, I got it live on stream, I'm super happy about it, but let's go ahead and evolve it. Now, I I kind of thought about this one because I love the Shinies of Carvana, but I know that Shiny Shadow Sharpedo is going to look insane, so let's go ahead and do this right now. It's going to look so gosh darn cool. I love Sharpedo as a kid, man. He used to be one of my favorite Pokemon, and here he is right there. Yo! Oh my god! That's so cool! That is so cool, dude. Shiny Shadow Sharpedo. Look at all of that purple and that, what is that, magenta? I'm not even sure what color that is. That is insane. Oh my god, I love that Pokemon. That is so cool. Okay, honestly, I want to do another Shiny Evolution. Do you guys mind? Tell me this isn't a good place for a Shiny Evolution. I got another one that I want to do. I can't forget. We got so many shinies during the Kanto Tour event, and a good amount of them were new. So that means we have a lot of new shiny evolutions to do, and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Ladies and gentlemen, shiny Kabuto. I don't know what it is. This was one of the final Gen 1 shinies that I did not have, and I finally got them just this past uh, this past month. And man, I have been searching for shiny Kabuto ever since these came out. It's been like three years, maybe? Two, three, four years? Finally got him. Shiny Kabuto. Love the lime green on this guy. But let's go ahead and evolve him into Shiny Kabutops. Luckily for us, we got three Shiny Kabuto during Kanto Tour. So we're stacked. We're stacked. We even have one to trade now. Ladies and gentlemen, Kanto Kabuto. I meant to say Kabuto. Shiny Kabutops. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are some dope Shiny Evolutions, man. 2094. Big boy, too. Oh, I love that. It's so nice. So first off, before we get into this, I do want to give a big shout out to the Trainer Club. He inspired me to add this into today's video because this is really, really good information. And honestly, big hats off to him for putting out that video. We're going to be talking about why you should not get Shadow Articuno in Pokemon Go. Hear me out. So as you guys know, the Higher They Fly special research came out this month, and at the end of the research, you battle Giovanni, and it rewards you with Shadow Articuno. Now that's exciting. Obviously, Shadow Pokemon are, in most cases, a lot better and super, super cool, right? But in this case, it's not. It's not that good of an idea to get this Shadow Legendary, and let me tell you why. While I'm talking about this, I am going to have Shadow Articuno chilling on the screen right there because he looks so gosh darn cool. So let's go ahead and let him let him live and give him his praise because he does look awesome now I know not everybody's in the same scenario but not only do I already have two shadow Articuno as you can see right there because there has been two opportunities to get him thus far I already have two of them so it's not like it's new for me if it's new for you I'd probably say go grab them you know why not but for me it's not new now that's not really important let's get to why it's actually important shadow Articuno as awesome as he is PvP wise not that big of a difference. It's actually not as good in the Great and Ultra League as the regular Shadow version of Articuno. In the Master League, I believe it is a tad bit better, but it's not really that big of a difference. So PvP-wise, Shadow Articuno, not super worth it. And raid-wise, it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. But there's a lot better options out there, such as Shadow Mamoswine. Like, Shadow Mamoswine knocks him out of the park. And there's other good ice types out there, especially ones that are going to be coming to Pokemon Go, that will be better than Shadow Articuno. So, Shadow Articuno, not super worth it. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Gilly, what do I do with the research? What do I do with Articuno? How do, what, where do we go from here? Let me tell you. They've already announced that next month we're going to be getting Shadow Zapdos. And then the following month, we're going to be getting Shadow Moltres. So, what that means is that you can hold off on that Shadow Articuno research. Don't go through it. Don't finish it. Wait until Zapdos comes out next month in the month of April. And then you have two opportunities. I believe you have two opportunities to claim Shadow Zapdos because you're going to get that research back. Now, you guys might be wondering, Shadow Zapdos, is that much better? Is that worth it? Heck yeah. PvP wise on Shadow Zapdos, I don't believe there's that much of a difference. It actually might be worse as a Shadow PvP wise, 
But raid-wise, DPS-wise, Shadow Zapdos is a top-tier, phenomenal electric type in this game, man. Shadow Zapdos is an absolute beast, and that is definitely something you try want you want to try to get a good IV version of. So, I recommend you guys passing on Shadow Articuno if you have one already and getting two Shadow Zapdos because Shadow Zapdos is just another level of awesome. I just wanted to make sure I got this news out to you guys because it's important and I don't want you guys to claim your Shadow Articunos without knowing that information first. If you still want to do it, by all means go ahead. But I'm glad you guys know that information because now you can make a better decision potentially. Also, Shadow Moltres. Let's not sleep on Shadow Moltres. You could potentially save another one of those researches for Shadow Moltres. Shadow Moltres is a beast. I love him as well. At the end of the day, Shadow Legendaries are a different type of beast, and you want to make sure you guys get a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself two Shadow Zapdos when the time comes. And really quickly, before we do wrap up today's video, because that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about today, there is a new Pokemon in Pokemon Go, and I accidentally go plus it. Frillish. The brand new Pokemon from, I believe, Generation 5? 6? 6? 5? It might be Generation 6, but Frillish is here. It's made its Pokemon Go debut. I don't think it's any good. I don't think it's any rare or worth it at all, but it's kind of cool looking, I guess. I don't know. He's here. I go plus him. So that was a Pokedex Edition entry right there. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you guys have not already, let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys going to go Shadow Orticuno or are you going to go Shadow Zapdos? And then also let me know. If you guys have got any rare spawns, let me know in the comments down below. But that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see your faces later. Deuces.